What is up, everybody? Clevercraft360 here. Back with some more Subnautica. As you guys can definitely see. What the fuck is in my inventory? So, I don't remember what I was doing last time, or what I would said I'd be doing, or what I'd be said I'd be doing. Or what I said I'd be doing this time, so I have no fucking idea what I should be doing. Hmm. Actually, I think I have an idea. I forgot my mute key for my, uh, <laughs> recording is also the same key for self-scan. That's a pain in the ass. So, I don't know what to do. It doesn't seem like my mute key is working, which is fun. So I've discovered that my mute key apparently changed, which is fun. Where's my Seamouse? Oh yeah, I remember why my Seamouse is there. I forgot about that. So my goal today is, well first of all, I need to get more gel sacks, because I need more aerogel. Which, I don't know why all this shit's in my inventory. Where's my door? Okay, fuck you, game. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, so my current goal is to. This I can keep all that on me. Actually, I should drink some of that water. My current goal is to obtain more gel sacks. And it has recently come to my attention that apparently me risking my life down in the blood kelp trench was not necessary because the wiki did not have either up-to-date information, just didn't have the information on it in general. So I've discovered that apparently I can get gel sacs from the mushroom forest. So that is where I'm going today. Systems online. Okay, it's good. Okay, so yeah, if you guys know anything about the geography of this game, then why is my prawn outside of Jelly Shroom? What am I doing with my prawn there? I don't know. But, so if you guys know anything about the geography of this game, there's a mushroom forest there, and there's one over there. I need to go to the one that's over there. Which is not a fun journey. And because I'm a goddamn coward, I am pulling up a map. Because I do not like running into things that are scary. Because scary is bad. So where I should be going is pretty much to Life Pod 3 and then pretty much... Actually, hold on. What Life Pod is that? Because I think I might have a waypoint going right there. There you go. Should be a straight shot from here to there. Hopefully. Turn up in Mushroom Forest sometime soon. Or not Mushroom Forest, uh, Grassy Plateau. Just damage me. I just take damage. Oh no. Wait, where am I? I mean, pretty much anywhere that's safe shallows, there's no real threat to me just going straight shot like this. But I'm low-key stressed out. Theoretically, you should go directly out into Mushroom. 
Yep. It's night time, isn't it? Fuck me. Yep. There's big ass tree. Rip that poor peeper. Remember, they were like back here, this little alcove right here, or somewhere similar. I found them on my non recording save, and I was so. Oh, that's fucking helpful. I was so mad at myself because I didn't know they were there because they weren't on the wiki until I found them. Because I actually had a friend put- oh, that's a bone shark. I'm gonna leave. Oh, that's a cyclops fragment, although I think that's a whole frag, which I already have now. They should be around here someplace. Because I saw them here. Where are they? There they are. I knew they were here someplace. I get angry that I didn't know they were here. Because this is a, probably the safest place in the entire map you can get gel sacks. And I'm angry this wasn't on the goddamn wiki. Where's core shell in that? Or table core, not core shell. Core. Speaking's not fun, okay? Do I already have the blueprint for an alien containment? Fuck. And I think I know where I have to go to get one. Fuck. Any more here because I want to be able to. Oh, fuck! I forgot. You're supposed to. Hmm. I should have stabbed those fucking coral tube, or not coral tube, gel sack samples before I picked them up. Because I can stab them twice, get seeds, and then get the fucking, oh my god, I'm angry at myself. Wait, can I just like, hold on. Could I just... I can, wait, is this like, can you just infinitely or does it save when it's in your inventory? I'm gonna test it with this one now. Where'd it go? Okay, that's not broken at all. Okay, I just found an exploit. How to get infinite gel sack seeds, apparently. Okay, that's fun. I mean, I don't know how they would fix that, but that's definitely brokenly broken, I guess. Like, considering how annoying gel sacks usually are to get, that's really, that, or that's really broken. I mean, one gel sack can turn into about 80. I should've done that with the first ones I fucking found, it was stupid. Quite angry at myself.
Can I make an exterior grow bed? I don't believe I can. I cannot. Fuck. Okay. So, I mean, I think I know where I can go this episode, just because, fuck it. Uh, Life Pod 17, the one I think it is? No, Life Pod 19, I think, is the one I think it is. Life Pod 12 is the sheer opposite direction. Up life pod 19. How much depth modules do I have in this thing? I think I have max, hopefully. Okay, I have max. I really don't like that shit of blue. That's better, I guess. Okay, so I should repair this quick actually. I just almost fucking tried to equip the gel sack. I'm gonna also empty my inventory. This is where I'm going, I can get a fuck ton of Reginalds too. Which is helpful. I don't know why I would want a propulsion cannon. Then I'll put the gel sacks away. Drink the water I was supposed to drink earlier. Okay. Now I get to take my teal ass fucking sea moth. Okay. I shouldn't die from this adventure, but I might. Oh god, this is fucking scary. Because this isn't that far from a fucking ghost leviathan. Actually, it's decently far, but it's not really. the fuck was that? Like, I think that was a stalker, but it did not sound like a stalker. I'm, like, low-key stressing out, making sure that I have everything for my fucking journey. I mean, it's not that difficult of a journey to me, especially because I have the depth modules. First time I ever went here, I think I didn't have any depth modules. So I had to park my Seamoth about 100 meters above where I was going. Like, outside of where this actually is. Oh, I don't like this. This entire biome where this is, at least I think this is the biome where it is. Or fuck me, I don't fucking English. Place where this is stresses me out a lot. Let's just put it that way. I really don't like the biome. Oh, here we are. A golf sand shark. This place really stresses me out. There's no reason for it because I can easily pilot my seamoth down here, so I'm perfectly safe. And I'm secure in my seamoth. But it still stresses me out so much coming down here. Fuck me. The first time I ever went here, the island scared the fuck out of me. Are you kidding me? These things are fucking everywhere! Why did I have to go into that goddamn trench to get this shit? I'm mad. Because these gel sacks are goddamn everywhere, apparently. In fact, there was probably a hundred places safer than that goddamn trench. God damn it. Oh, yeah, there's a fucking. Okay. Welcome aboard, Captain. Fucking hell. Oh, 
Okay. I don't even know if the wiki actually listed this place. It probably did, but I just didn't fucking care. Okay, I already have a moon pool. Good to know I could have gotten that down here, too. I think down here is one of the times where I almost drowned on this. There's another fucking gel sack. Plus these rubies, which I need for air or gel, too. I so might as well take those, too, so that saves me a trip to blood kelp as well. Shale's largely useless. I'll take these rubies and fucking gel sacks, though. But I need the rubies for fucking... Yeah, aerogel, that's the fucking word. Goddamn. I'm low-key mad at myself that I didn't realize how easy it was to get this shit. Because I've played Subnautica at least three or four different saves. Like, gotten to this point of the game with that. And every single time, I got all of my fucking gel sacks. All of them. From Blood Kelp Trench. Every time, scaring the shit out of myself because that place is fucking awful. And now I'm here. And there's... Like, this is an extremely safe area as long as you don't fuck around and end up going too far in one direction or the other. And there's fucking gel sacks all over the place here. Same thing in Mushroom Forest. If I had known about that shit, then this wouldn't have been an issue. I think this biome, I think this one is listed on the, uh... What a bitch is Kara. Is listed on the wiki? The shit that was in uh, Mushroom Forest, though, was not listed on the wiki. Until recently. Which is kind of aggravating, because that would have been so much easier to get. There's so much quartz here, oh my god. I should set up like a fucking outpost here, like just mining for quartz, because there's large quartz deposits, massive amounts of quartz all over the wall, that's a tiger plant, fuck that. Okay, where's everything in here? Anything else in here? Usually there's like a data pack or shit in here. Integrating new PDA data. That it? I guess so. Now we get to go to another fun place. Floating Island. See, I get the fact that doing this all beforehand in other saves really takes away from the tension of a lot of this shit. Because I know what areas are safe and what aren't, I really don't like going down there. But, oh yeah, there's the bottom of the island. You know, the first time I was ever here, I surfaced, because I just kind of went straight up. And I surfaced right next to this, without realizing that I was here. And it fucking jump scared me. I was jump scared by an island. The worst part is, is that I'm not fucking kidding. And again, I've done that with the uh, other island too, so I mean, I'm very bad with islands. I mean, this game is supposed to be underwater, so. Hopefully there's alien containment here, I don't actually remember, oh fuck me. That one's up there. I think this one is over here, then. Please? Someplace? No, I think this is just... Wait. Okay, that's the rendezvous point. This is like that little alcove in that. I can scan all this shit, too. I don't really care enough to. Where's the other... I guess I can go up here. Just randomly gave thought about this. This game is fucking fantastic. This game is beautiful. Oh wait, do I not have bulkheads yet? Oh my god. The fuck am I doing with my life? So 
something in there? There is. Ooh, stasis rifle. Do I have that yet? Oh, I already do. Or the recipe for it, I should say. Some water. Integrating new PDA data. This is the first time I've seen sunlight in months. After all that time in the deep, I'd been dreaming of it. Now that I'm back here, I'm finding it hard to enjoy alone. Father was right. We should never have left this place. We shouldn't have gone so deep. They do not want us down there. Despite my best efforts, ill health is taking hold of me. The visions are getting worse. Marguerite and Father are now part of the ecosystem of this incredible planet. It's reassuring to know that when I go, I'll join them. Until then, well, there's always the view. Blueprint acquired. Damn. I can work my way down here. Yep, yeah, there's a bunch of cave crawling bastards. Maybe I should have brought the uh, propulsion cannon. Fucking discount head crab, motherfucker. Oh. Ah, fuck. That was fall damage that killed, hurt me, I think. There is the rest of you little discount head crab, motherfuckers. Oh, shit. What is that thing? I don't know. I found it outside in the sand. Uh, part of another ship? None I've ever seen. Not even scratched. Uh, uh, don't fool around with it. It might be worth something. Stand down, Chief. If it were going to crumble to dust, it would have done so when I picked it up. It's glowing. We're not the first people to come to this planet. People? Maybe. Could be aliens. Could be the damn sea monsters for all we know. One thing for sure, we ain't going to find out by staying here. Come on. Come on, bastard. Bastard. Good battery, asshole. Son, I said wait for the storm to pass. Your life's more valuable to me than a plant patch. You stopped being in charge when the ship you were captaining sunk. I'll stop being in charge when you take charge of yourself. Say, Chief. Chief. What? Do you know how to drain those grow beds of 40 tons of storm water? Or how to conjure food from the air? I know how to prioritize. I'm just saying, if that's so, what's your boy's life worth to you today? If tomorrow you're going to be so hungry you start wondering what he tastes like, let him go deal with the plants. Son. Go deal with the plants. Bard, Torgo has disembarked the habitat. Interfere with my family again, and when rescue arrives, I will leave you here. Do you understand me? No rescue coming, Chief. Not in time. And no staying here neither. This rain keeps falling, sooner or later this place will be buried. The only choice we got is whether to get buried with it. Integrating new PDA data. Never really thought about that about this game. There's no weather cycle in this game. So the fact that the entire world is just water, but yet there's still sunlight, therefore there should be like massive levels of evaporation. There should be like massive fucking monsoons all the fucking time. But there's no weather system in this game. I've never given that any thought until now. Oh, 
there's another PDA here. This island is a godsend. Look out of the window. No predators. Fresh food. No building materials. Nothing left of the ship. And your kid says we're gonna starve without more grow beds. Speak up, kid. It's true, father. The natural growth rates are too slow to keep supporting us. All I'm saying is oceans got us surrounded. No use hiding. Sooner or later, we'll get our feet wet. The rest of your life may have been a fight maider, but I've made my decision. You want to forfeit your emergency pay to take a swim? Go ahead. Believe me, I'm thinking on it. Oh my god, I've never noticed before. There's like a massive reflection in the water. I've never noticed that until now. That is beautiful. I mean, I kind of wish I had better graphics so that way I could actually show it all of its beauty, but that's really fucking cool. I wish I could, like, find a place to sleep here so I don't have to fucking spend the night here. Because I want to go down to the other Degasi base, if you guys know where that is. But I don't want to do that at night. <laughs> and I don't have a uh, waypoint for it either. Can I scan anything here? I don't think I can. I don't have a waypoint for it, which is kind of like annoying. Because I'd have to find it by eyesight. Which is not safe. Did I already scan these trees or something? Something back here let me scan though, so I'll look for that. Because I thought something back here let me scan. Guess not. What the fuck is this? Okay. Huh? I don't know who the fuck named all this shit. Like, I don't understand if like, the Degasi crew named some of this stuff, but like... They were all, like, fucking abandoned. Like, I guess if I downloaded their PDAs, then I didn't know the names of the shit that they named, but, like... It's not like that would be, like, on a database for my scanner or anything. Does my scanner just come up with the names as it goes? Do I get to name these things? Like, humans have never been here before other than the Degasi, right? Like... Who the fuck named this shit? I'm not looking forward to going down there. I'm not looking forward to that at all. I think I'm gonna save that for next episode though. So if you guys enjoyed the video, go check out the rest of my series. Uh, go check out the rest of the series on my channel too. I do a lot of interesting videos, at least in my opinion. Uh, go join my Discord, the link's in the description. I'll uh, participate in Discord-only events and polls once I get more people. I just want more people in my Discord. Uh... Find out next time what the fuck happens. I'll probably goddamn die. Or I'll scream. I don't know. Stay tuned for the next episode. But until then, I'll see you guys later. Bye.